I was sitting in my study room and reading a book about a great man in Roman history. My wife was cooking our dinner because we did not have any slaves, and my daughter was sitting on the ground and playing with my dog. Suddenly, the ground shook. I was getting worried. The earthquakes happened quite often, but these days the earthquake almost did not stop even for a minute. Does it mean that something big is going to happen? I shook my head. That is impossible. Nothing bad would happen to a city like Pompeii. Maybe there is something wrong with the Earth's cloudy sky. I thought. Then I kept reading my book. However, the thing is not going as well as what I did expected. The earthquake became more and more often, and the sky became gray and oppressive, with some heavy and black clouds filling the sky. A terrifying news was spreading. The volcano was going to erupt soon. All my family members were scared. I thought for a short time about this. It might be wrong. Maybe it will pass soon. However, I thought it would be better to make my family safe. I told them to pack the most valuable things in our house. At least, at last, each of us was carrying a big bag, except for my daughter. I unleashed the dog from the iron chain. He did not just run away. He looked at me like a real person for a couple minutes. Slowly walked out of my house, then started to run. We also went out from our house. It was kind of late. The ash started to fall on us like gray snow. All we could do is at this time was pray for our God and run faster. Our home was really far from the harbor. We tried our best to reach for a cheap stop in the harbor. However, as we were approaching the harbor, the ice snow was getting thicker and heavier. It was getting harder and harder to walk. As we ran through the streets, people lied on the ground everywhere. People who lost hope to survive gave up their life. It is really terrifying. My daughter started to cry. I comforted her, and I carried her on my back and kept running. Fortunately, we got to the harbor right before the heavy ash buried us. We are the last family who ran out of from the school、uh, from the city, where、uh, there was only one ship left in the harbor, which was also full of people. The ship owner told me there were only two more spots on, on the ship. Silence fell on our family. My daughter was still sobbing. I looked to my wife, nodding my head. She also nodded, without saying anything. Carried my daughter on the ship. The ship started to move. Carrying the hope of surviving, I stood on the beach, which was covered by the ash. I smiled, closed my eyes. I can hear the roar from the volcano behind me. I was satisfied. I got everything which a man could ever expect. I was willing to die. Suddenly, I heard someone was calling my name. It sounds familiar. My wife was running to me. I was not surprised. I looked at her, and she looked at, looked back at me. We both did not say a word. We sat on the ash, looking toward the distant ship moving away from us. An angry roar came from the volcano. The real re- eruption had started. We put our hands together until the last second of our life. Then the life and ash swallowed us. I could hear no more sound. The only thing I heard is silence. Wait, didn't I die? I thought I should be dead. And why this light in front of me? And why someone is talking some kind of weird language? Oh wait, why am I a baby? Did I just go to another world? A woman carried me on her arm, kissed me. I was confused, but I、uh, ac- I accept because there's nothing else I can do. After 15 years, I'm here to tell you the true story. From a real survivor from Vesuvius, which is about myself.